in this video i'm going to tell you exactly what to do in order to increase your scores very fast on the us mla exams if you are watching this video you must be someone who is planning to take the exams or someone who is already writing the exams but you have reached that point where it's hard for you to improve on your scores so if you follow my leads and do exactly as i say just do this within three three weeks to one month and then you will see a very big boost in your scores most of the points i'm going to take are going to uh, i'm going to talk about are going to come from these two books this is pathoma and then this is the first aid but most people do not know how to use it and which topics are the most high yield topics and which topics to begin with in order to boost your confidence in order to be able to uh, study and uh, study well for the rest of the exams so before I go into the details, um, these points I'm going to talk about are just four points. There are four points and then they have divided them into subjects and topics. And if you follow exactly what I'm going to say, you will see a very big boost in your scores. Now, before I go into the details, first of all, most people struggle with biochemistry because the biochemistry on the US MLE goes mostly for the enzymes and before you understand the enzyme you have to understand the substrate pathway so that if an enzyme is deficient or if an enzyme is available what will be the effect on the pathway or the substrate in the pathway so very important that there are points that you can easily get on the US MLE exam and then there is no hiding from them you will surely meet questions on them and then if you can learn this biochemistry pathways very well you will excel on the exam you will just be smiling you'll pick your answers and then move forward do not hide away from it do not say okay they may not ask they will ask you will meet biochemistry questions now if you're struggling with biochemistry you can you cannot just read biochemistry it's, it's impossible to just read biochemistry from this first aid and understand it it's it's practically impossible like who can do that you need a coach now who is that coach there is this coach he's called dr najib dr najib n-a-j-e-e-b dr najib so dr najib is someone who can teach you biochemistry for you to understand even if he teaches your grandmom or even your class uh, class five child or, or grade five child they are going to understand biochemistry but he takes his time and breaks everything down for you so if you are someone struggling with biochemistry it's better now than never go to dr najib i know the accents can be hard but hey we all learn from him take your time with him listen to him and you will understand biochemistry and then you will be, before you come to first aid and then before you even start solving you will question because if you don't do dr najib and then you don't have a good foundation of biochemistry then the you old questions you are going to waste them do not waste your money you bought you old questions why would you waste them do dr najib in conjunction with the first aid and you will improve on your biochemistry that's the first trick now the next Thing I'm talking about is this Patoma book. Very, very important, very high yield. But it comes to this point where we some people just don't know how to even approach the book. Let me tell you exactly what to do. The first four chapters of Patoma are the most important chapters in this book because it lays down the foundation for you to understand medicine. So it going into it, the first four chapters, growth and adaptation. In second chapter is inflammation principles of neoplasia and the fourth chapter that you must add is him and him related disorders now when you finish that the him related go down to do wbc's and uh, rbc disorders they are the chapter six and chapter five there are a lot of cancer cases in the u.s and the u.s MLE will always test you on wbc's so take note of that do the first first so first four chapters and then include the other him topics wbc's and rbc's and do them from patoma and now when you finish with these topics when you finish the him topics do you all questions on those topics and now you will see that you are understanding and then your scores are going to boost very very fast they'll just shoot up anytime i did 
a Pathoma topic and did you world I scored over a 90% and that is that is the real fact before then I was messing up I didn't know what I was doing so take it very serious the first six chapters of Pathoma very very important you will always meet questions on it always or understand coagulation cascade very well make sure you really understand the coagulation cascade and know which enzyme works on where and where pt and ptt will be elevated very very important now after that the next chapter that people don't pay attention to and you can easily get like three points on the exam is dermatology so dermatology is very important i believe that's the last uh, chapter the skin you can easily make make e like you can go through this very easily it, it took me about let's say about one and a half hours to finish dermatology from this book and then you can get easy points on the exams pay attention to dermatomyositis and pay attention to um, those uh, other uh, conditions like psoriasis and co very important pay attention to their histology you will meet them on step one and you can easily make a very easy point on 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 them after dermatology come to msk msk very important so in the msk that so that is the next chapter uh, last but one chapter from the book in the msk very very high yield you don't want to go into the exam without doing msk so with msk pay attention to the difference between osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis know exactly where, where which part of the fingers that they affect let me just give you a quick trick here this is what i do i make a fist like this rheumatoid arthritis i know rowdy rowdy goes for rheumatoid so rheumatoid people they are rowdy so they like to fight now when they fight they use this part of the fist to box right this part so it rheumatoid affects here and here now if you look here osteo will affect this side that trick you have to know it and now do the bones when you do musculoskeletal pay attention to the bones the the cancers of the bones pay very close attention to them which part of the long bone is affected by what cancer so that i know that ewing sarcoma will affect the diaphysis if i come to the metaphysis osteosarcoma pay attention to the signs that you will see the cardman triangle and all that pay very close attention you can do this very easily and then you boost your score now after and then you are remember you are doing all from pathoma not any other resource next is to do gi gi is very broad it's a lot it's, it sounds easy but it's also very easy to miss questions on gi you will always get questions on gi pathology of gi should be done from this book from pathoma do pathology from this book very quick go through it and do and uh, do some u world questions on it you will always find questions from u world now when you do that go to b and b bots and beyond where he talks about the gi physio and do some gi physio paying close attention to the enzymes that are secreted from the gi tract and which part of the gi tract are those enzymes secreted from those secreted from the stomach pay attention to them those secreted from your pancreas pay very close attention to them you will meet questions on them next is that all the cancers that affect the gi you will learn them from the pathoma book so pay attention to the cancers that affect the gi tract very important very very important now let's go to our next point so i've talked about one two three let's go to the third point before the fourth so the third point is the topics that you should do from boards and beyond so just follow me this way you do biochemistry from dr Najib, do pathoma the first six chapters and also do dermatology and msk then you do gi from pathoma all this you can do within a very short time you can do them within two weeks now next is in, the, in your third week you can do boards and beyond now when you go to boards and beyond do cardio now in cardio do cardiophysiology for cardiophysiology very important pay attention to the wiga diagrams 
because some of the questions on the USML they will just give you the diagram and then they expect you to know what is happening also pay attention to antiarrhythmic drugs they will give you the diagram of the action potential and they want you to know which antiarrhythmic drug is is what is is the patient taking very important so you can do that from boards and beyond i for one what happened was i took it got to the end of my exam before i realized that oh i should have studied this because i was struggling and when i went to do all these things it improved my score it gave me that confidence to go and write the exam now the next thing from boss and beyond you want to do is respiratory physio respi physio so with respi physio very important very important if you want to do the pathology do it from pathoma but respi physio very important pay attention to your lung function test the pulmonary function test one the fev1 fvc fev1 fvc ratio very important any pulmonology question they will always give it to you and they expect you to know whether it is um, restrictive padding or it is it is obstructive padding one trick that i can easily give you is that all the restrictives everything is pointing downwards everything is low except the ratio which is normal or increased so anytime you see an fe a v1 fvc ratio which is increased or normal it is a restrictive pattern and you can also look at the obstructive pattern so if you see a question and it's not restrictive then it's most likely going to be obstructive very very important that you pay attention to that also next is to do nervous system from boards and beyond nervous system the physiology if you want to do the pathology of the nervous system then do pathoma now physiology of the nervous system they will always ask you questions try to understand the stroke syndromes now if a stroke affects this side of the brain you know we all know the symptoms will be on this side pay attention also know which tracks will cross okay now the cerebellum make sure you remember that the cerebellar tracts do not cross so pay attention to that so the cerebellar the cerebellar lesions the cerebellar lesions are what well, they are epsilabra pay close attention now pay attention to the homunculus and be able to apply the homunculus which arteries affect which part of the brain or which arteries supply which part of the brain and if those arteries have hemorrhage or if those arteries are not working they have a stroke which part of the body it will affect pay close attention you will always get a question on it trust me now next is the spinal cord you will always get a question on the spinal cord now on the spinal cord you want to pay attention to the structure of the spinal cord be able to draw the spinal cord and all the nuclei in the spinal cord the tracks that uh, upper motor neuron and those that are mo uh, lower motor neuron pay close attention to it pay close attention to the posterior horn and then the anterior horn the dorsal column and then the ventral column which diseases affect those those areas very very important you will get questions on them next is to do the, the minor topics okay then these are things that you can easily score on microbiology as for micro very important you will always get about 10 questions on it and when we are doing questions in the exam on micro don't get confused whatever you studied go according to that do not go and create new theories in the exam whatever you knew before going to the exam pick those same answers okay micro it's the same everywhere you can easily get points on it it sounds broad but you can use about maybe two days in 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 different like you can use two days to do micro but you divide them into several days and, but then when you are doing micro the book that you want to use is the first aid but the first aid you want to do it with boards and beyond and make annotations in the first aid and then your micro will be good if after that you, you are still struggling with micro then what i would suggest for you is to do the sketchy micro and 
do all the questions on sketchy micro they are straightforward questions and then it will stick next and the last thing i'll talk about is the farm pharmacology we all know the uses of all those drugs the medications that they ask that's not what i'm talking about even though you might meet questions on it mostly it's on the step two but the basics of farm from the first aid the diagrams the formula try to memorize them and try to be able to draw some of them out and understand them so these are some of the points that i want to tell you very very important if you do this you always meet a question on everything that i've said on this video every topic i've talked about you will meet a question on it so take it very serious and practice on it boost your scores before you go into the exam so thanks for watching if you have any questions my email is on the about tab on on youtube go to about you see my email if you're someone who also needs free resources go there to the about tab and then you see free resources down there free resources and then you can download some of them and then you don't have to subscribe to some of them and again those links there are not made by me i also saw them online and i decided to share with you guys so thank you very much for watching this video subscribe if you like what i've said and also share with your friends i'll see you again in the next video bye